Espresso is freaking awesome. It is fast, there is generally no need for sleeps, and it is really easy to write, and I'm going to show you how. Okay, I just want to show you guys real quick how to create a new project if you haven't already done so. So we're going to hit File, New Project, under the application name, oh, crap. Um, we're going to put test right here. So go ahead and type test, then we're going to go click on next. Just leave that the same. We can leave that the same. Doesn't really matter. Leave it as main activity and we're good to go. So that'll start a new project. The Gradle build's running. It's just downloading all of the files and framework tools and yeah, all the build tools that you're going to need to run it. And then we're going to take a look and just see what we got. Once your project is done um, indexing and handling all the Gradle stuff, let's take a look in the build.gradle file for the module app. I'm here right now, you have to add a couple of lines. I just highlighted that. So test instrumentation runner, you need to put that in. And we need to have these two Android test compiles set. As I run it, you're going to notice, okay, boom, ran into an error. This will probably happen to you. Happened to me the first couple times I tried to figure this out. So what it's telling you is that those are conflicting. So I'm going to fix that con that conflicting error. Um, it is a fix. It's going to flag and say, hey, you're not using the latest version. There are ways to get around that so you can actually use the latest version. But being that this is a short, simple tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to get Espresso running. And you can dive into Gradle and all of the power that it has later. Now let's take a look at my test class. It's just called Espresso Example. And I only have really one line of code that's you know, the other lines are important, but this is the only line of code that's going to run. The on view with text.check matches is displayed. It's just going to say, hey, is hello world displayed? And I'll show you real quick in there. That's really the only thing that's on the page. We're going to check, hey, is that displayed? If you want to look at the code that I have right here, um, it's actually going to be on my GitHub. So I'm going to have a link of that in the description. You can go ahead and clone my project or even if you don't know how to use Git and clone, download a zip of it, go ahead and you could just run it exactly how it is. But I would definitely recommend running through this and building it yourself just so you can get a little more hands-on experience. In the next video, I'm going to explain more complicated examples and I'm going to step through the code to show you um, an espresso test as it runs.